Extreme fighting has quickly become the most controversial sporting event in the world. No pads, no helmets. The only weapon, the human body. Critics compare this sport to human cockfighting. In November 1995, the first extreme fighting was scheduled in Brooklyn, New York. At the last minute, the event was banned by the New York City and state governments. For two days, the promoters searched the country for a new home. And on the 18th of November, extreme fighting took place in Wilmington, North Carolina. Since then, the brutal event has met extreme opposition from every side. I think we're looking at a, you know, a level of athlete here that's completely different you know, than we've ever seen before. You know, these are extreme fighters and, uh, and they're the best of them. These guys uh, work on their minds so that they can be strong in very bad positions. So when your mind still wants to fight but your body can't, you know, it can push you even further. New York, April 1996. Battlecade Productions has set a date and a place for their next event, the Mohawk Indian Reservation outside of Montreal. Yeah, Johnny. Yeah, we got a big, big fight coming up. He's going to kick some butt. The offices are filled with promoters and publicists peddling the no-hold-barred event to the media. Oh, yeah, he's going he's gonna to win again. Montreal. The eager countdown to Extreme Fighting 2 has begun, and final preparations are being made. No eye gouges, no biting, and no hooking the fence. Two fighters, nobody moves. Uh, will the fight be stopped and move it? Fighters get up and we start again, or...? If they're both dead, we'll stop the fight, you know, but, but uh, otherwise I don't, I don't really see, you know, any reason to pull someone out of position.